Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Thanks for joining me. I wasn't going to vlog this morning, but I wanted to do another video test with the iPhone 8 Plus. This time in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Yesterday's early morning vlog was in 1080p, 60 frames per second. Some of the feedback was mentioning that there was a little bit of extra shakiness, which has nothing to do with the uh, smartphone windshield section mount that I'm using from Fantaseal. I use most of my devices on this mount and there's always going to be a little bit of shakiness but for the most part I'm going to tell you something since picking up this accessory reviewing it and using it it's got to be my favorite even over the easy one touch 2 by iAudi on the dash of my car now I'll still use that mount as well but I'm really digging this one that's attached to my windshield. I love the positioning. I like what it does. I like how it holds my devices. It's, a, it's got a very tight grip. You can watch my other morning video vlogs and you know, whether it's the G6, whether it's the B20, whether it's the U11, the S8, the Note 8, the Moto G5 Plus, I'll tell you, man, it just shoots. It holds my devices in place really well to shoot really good video now if there's any extra shakiness when using the iPhone 8 plus it's it's not the suction windshield smartphone mount I keep saying that in different many various ways smartphone windshield suction mount mount suction windshield smartphone ah, anyway the point is it's not that. So, again, go watch the other morning vlogs. Everything I do when shooting video, like I'm doing right now, the only thing that changes is whether it's 720p, 1080p, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Yeah, I'm changing the resolution, but outside of that, I'm not doing anything. It's just an auto. There's no... There's no manual settings involved in these videos I'm just shooting the video as is in the raw uh, right now it looks like it's doing really really good so maybe it was in 60 frames a second I noticed that mobile geezer mentioned that in the feedback yesterday and Grant replied to him mentioned that it could have been the 60 frames a second and um, you could be right Grant so uh, I appreciate all the feedback but that's why I wanted to do another video test to see how it did in 30 frames per second. And this is where you really, for me, in my opinion, where you really test these devices. Because when it's dark out like this, they work a little harder. These, these devices work a little harder in shooting video. It's a lot easier during the day when there's a lot of light out. But you got a lot of neon lights headlights those truck lights and then there's dark areas so it has to stay in focus and not get distracted by all these different areas that could allow focus hunting um and that's a separate conversation from the shakiness but what i'm seeing from the iphone 8 plus it, that it's doing pretty darn well when it comes to that following that uh, truck and I just ran a red light because I didn't see the light he was actually covering it and he went through the red light as well so that's what I get for following that guy oh well that doesn't happen too often <laughs> caught on video anyway you let me know are you sh seeing any shakiness like you did in yesterday's morning vlog you can go back and check that one out if you haven't um are you seeing any focus setting what's the audio like let me know with the iphone 8 plus but um 
yeah I mean to me it's looking really good it could just be very sensitive in the dark when shooting video and that's okay that's why I have a lot of accessories that are sent to me to review um, that I'm able to hold my smartphones in place when shooting video when when in hand so I can um, you know limit some of that shakiness and and I actually use and utilize those accessories that are sent to me the handheld stabilizers and they don't really stabilize it's up to your hand and the accessory that you're using to utilize and create a little bit of that extra stability um, and so your hands don't get tired and holding your smartphone which can cause shakiness and cause um, that stability to be off a little bit so um, Again, I, I love this, this smartphone windshield suction mount. It's totally digging it. And hopefully uh, it did a little better this morning. Get parked in here. Turn that there to give you a little better view. You don't want to look into the dark. All the trucks are getting to work to dump off their uh, boards of beer and pop and chips everybody starts early man all right that's all i wanted to cover thanks for watching i appreciate it again a short video let me know how the iphone 8 plus did and thanks for watching the slideshow if you haven't checked out the slideshow samsung galaxy note 8 being taken on by the iphone 8 plus in a battle and right now it's pretty darn even they both look great in their own right as solo devices. I do it just so you can see. I think that when you're taking night shots, whether it's taking pics or shooting video, that's when the devices are really challenged. For the most part during the day, yeah, there, there are differences, but it's not going to, for me in my opinion, not gonna be as difficult for these devices. Uh, it's gonna be more difficult for these devices to work a little harder when it's dark out. So, um, that's when you really get to see what they can do, when, how they perform. Uh, as far as their cameras uh, um, on, on the Note 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus. So let me know. Uh, check out that video again. Uh, more to come. Man, I'm so stoked. Really, really soon here, man. The V30 is going to be here. And we're going to be doing some comparisons with that device and the Note and I still got a, if you want to see a U11 comparison with the iPhone 8 Plus, let me know. I'm thinking of putting that together on my days off. Uh, still got to do some day shots too as well. So, uh, and then I'll be getting to you, uh, hopefully doing a 72 hour later video or a one week uh, later video on the iPhone 8 Plus and go over some of my pros and cons on what I like personally. And this, this review, uh, you know, when it comes to my personal reviews, it's more about what I like and what I don't like and, and see if that matches up to what you are experiencing on your iPhone 8 Plus or any device I review. It's not gonna be a what everybody else is going through with their device. It's gonna be my own personal experience. And, and, and having an iPhone period for the first time ever here in my Project 13 or ever uh, for myself as a consumer, I've, I've never had one. I, I'm having fun with it. There are areas that um, are going to be positive and there are gonna be some negatives, but I'm enjoying my experience so far. I'm digging it, I'm learning it, and um, I'll be coming at you at some point with either a 72 hour later or a five day later and give you a little conversation. My, my, my uh, videos aren't necessarily reviews per se, they're sort of review slash vlog slash let's have a conversation. These are my feelings and thoughts on whatever it is I'm talking about, okay? A little different. Um, but that's the way I do it, I guess. I never meant to go that route. That's how I just do it. All right, everybody, I'm out. Peace, God bless. Have a great day.